These 13% plus yielding stocks pay large monthly dividends, analysts say, by tip ranks. Dividend investing has always been popular, and for good reason. Dividend stocks offer a wide range of advantages for return-minded investors, but two of the most see significant are a reliable income stream and an inflation-beating yield. Taken together, these advantages can form the base of a truly sound portfolio. The majority of dividend stocks pay out on a quarterly basis, but turning towards those with a month. Lee payment schedule allows investors to better plan their income streams to meet the Below are your comments. Big shots want you to buy so they can sell. Dot lol. Mortgage rights. I'll stick with ARLP, which is a coal stock, with close to zero net debt, P, E and P, CF less than 5 N. A 2x covered dividend near 13%. Be first to catch the stocks go free stocks us. Next news. Americans are still spending like there's no tomorrow. The Wall Street Journal. Interest rates are up. Americans spent 5.8% more in August than a year earlier, well outstripping less than 4% inflation. A tough housing market has more consumers writing off something they'd historically saved for, while the pandemic showed the instability of any long-term plans related to health, work or day-to-day -day leaf. E. Below are your comments. Are they spending more because of inflation? Food and energy price are going up. Things are getting more expense every month. Inflation is about one-third of real inflation. If an orange becomes so expensive that fewer people are buying it, Gov actually stops including aura. NGE price in inflation, so inflation goes down. Yup. Dot. Real inflation. 12%. Spending increase? 5.8%. That makes sense. Well I guess there is no problem. What are they complaining about? Everyone should just keep spending like there is no tomorrow. Live in the moment, be happy. If for some reason things go bad, really bad well we will deal with it then. In the meantime open another bottle of champagne winking face, 1929. Americans are still spending like there's no tomorrow while complaining about the economy. Hypocrites. Next news. Tax-free municipal bonds may not sound riveting, but they could actually be a really solid investment. T. Smart Asset Tax-free municipal bonds are not just a source of investment but also a significant contributor to P. UBLIC projects such as roads, schools and hospitals. These debt instruments are issued by local or state governments, attracting investors for their prov. I'd tax advantaged income. The interest earned from these bonds is typically exempt from federal taxes and, potentially, the post what are tax free municipal bonds and should you invest? appeared first on Smart Reads by Smart Asset. Below are your comments. Nuveen High Yield Muni is tax-free and is currently yielding 4.8%.
it is a smart time to buy into that as Fed rates will drop in 2024. Current average muni bond rate 3.13%, and many are taxes at state level. Inflation rate 3.7%, and that is an underestimate. Congratulations, you are safely losing money. You can invest in municipal bonds through closed-end mutual funds for a much better yield, like PML. PIMCO Municipal Income Fund 2 A simple way to mitigate most of the risks should be mentioned which is laddering. I'd explain it but you obviously have an internet so just look it up and it will be explained better than I could. Next news. My 401k lost money. What do I do now? Smart asset. Investing in a 401k is chosen by many employees, offering a convenient and often successful method to save for retirement. T. While a 401k may often be a wise decision, it comes with risks, and understanding how to handle market fluctuatio. NS affecting your account value is crucial for long-term financial security. When your portfolio drops it. The post what to do when your 401. K. Loses money appeared first on Smart Reads by Smart Asset. Below are your comments. As the article suggests, 401 kiloseconds are long-term investments. If it lost money last month, shrug your shoulders and keep pouring money into it. Do your normal due diligence on your selections and keep going. The right way to look at your investments is that they are on sale this month. I don't know. Stop voting for leftists? Unless you need the money in the next few years, forget about it, stop watching it, and keep adding to it. Everything lost money in Q3, except for 5% yield money market funds. But Q3 is always the worst quarter of the year. Hold out till the end of Q4 to gain some of your money back. There has to be a better investment than trusting your financial future to Wall Street. Dot. Next news. Do I need to report 401k and IRA rollovers on my taxes? Smart asset. Understanding the ins and outs of 401k and IRA rollovers isn't a walk in the park. The maze of tax implications surrounding these rollovers might seem intimidating to many. However, deciphering the process of reporting these rollovers on your taxes is critical to maintaining the tax deferred status of your retirement savings and steering clear of the post how to report 401 k and ira rollovers on your taxes appeared first on smart reads by smart asset below are your comments four important factoids about 401k to ira rollovers 1 the trustee for your 401k account will likely be different from the trustee for your ira account Rollover process will be simplest and fastest if you allow the trustees to move your cash between accounts without risk of generating a tax. Short answer. If you get a 1099R then yes. Do a trustee to trustee transfer. No reporting necessary. A financial advisor will tell you.
Next news. U.S. futures rise, bonds fall as shutdown averted, markets wrap. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. U.S. equity futures advanced and treasuries fell after U.S. lawmakers reached a deal over the weekend to avoid a government shutdown. Most read from Bloomberg why a U.S. recession is still likely and coming soon once unthinkable bond yields now the new normal for markets Congress averts U.S. govern. And shutdown hours before deadline aging trees show a crisis looms for the world's everything oil survey. Re-crash is coming for U.S. office properties, investors says and P500 futures added 0.4% after calm. Below are your comments. A momentary blip. They haven't come close to solving the problem of runaway government spending. Revenues are at an all-time high and we still have a $1.5 trillion deficit, embarrassing. Dot. U.S. stock futures and Asian equities are up after a government shutdown was averted, with market CAG. Early awaiting Jerome Powell's remarks for insights on rate hikes. China's manufacturing expansion also adds optimism. Be first to catch the stocks go free stocks us. They can't even eat lunch together but yet the stock market will celebrate like it's New Year's Eve. Dot. Nothing has been solved just kicking the can down the road. I hear no comment about the insurance industry in general. Next news. Price wars work. Neo, Xpeng, Li Auto EV deliveries look solid. Barons.com. Combined deliveries for Neo, Xpeng, and Li Auto came in at almost 67,000 vehicles for September, the second best month ever. Below are your comments. Neo, Xpeng, and Li may look more successful than our U.S. car makers, but none of their CEOs earns $20 million a year. I wouldn't call this success. Dot. Meanwhile here, the brilliant plans of Biden delivered coal again. The manufacturers will pile up loses they cannot afford that will set them back a decade. Ford had a good thing going with CATL to build a battery plant to boost sales, and now is history. Maybe Biden will make them in the basement. Variety and flexibility of those who can, can make. Is what bleep US auto before and will happen again. Next news. Once unthinkable bond yields now the new normal for markets. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. It was the week that bond markets finally seemed to grasp what central bankers have been warning. All year. Higher interest rates are here to stay. Most read from Bloomberg why a U.S. recession is still likely. And coming soon once unthinkable bond yields now the new normal for markets Congress averts U.S. govern. And shutdown hours before deadline aging trees show a crisis looms for the world's everything oil survey. Re-crash is coming for U.S. office properties, investors say from the U.S. to germ. Below are your comments. I moved into my house in 1987 and the interest rate on the mortgage was 11.5%. Somehow 7.19% on a 30-year mortgage today with the 10-year bond still below 5% is unthinkable. Dot. Warren Buffett. 
When everyone is greedy be fearful could not be more appropriate today. Hardly unthinkable. Once the government printed so much money and unleashed inflation. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.